Good Friday afternoon, everyone. I'm John Harris. Thank you so much for logging on to MyHighPlains.com. Well, today is a carbon copy of yesterday. Lots of sunshine, breezy and humid. And, of course, it feels like June. Right now, we're at 94 degrees. We're looking for a high of about 95. Our winds are brisk out of the south at 25 miles per hour. The dew point's at 52 degrees. And remember, when the dew points are in the 50s, you start to feel that humidity in the air. When the dew points are in the 60s, you start to wear that humidity. So, again, the dew point temperature is a better measure of how much uncomfortableness there is in the atmosphere as opposed to the actual relative humidity. Remember, the relative humidity is uh, an inverse relationship. As the temperature goes up, the humidity drops. So, again, it's the dew points that really give us an idea of how sticky it is outside. And this is good because we need moisture to get rain. And if you look off to the southwest, the remnants of what used to be a hurricane called Bud down in the uh, Gulf of California, down in the uh, area to the west of uh, Cabo San Lucas is now making its way into the Rocky Mountains, and it's going to give us lots of rain as we travel into the weekend for sure across New Mexico, Arizona, and Colorado. And some of that action is going to move into the panhandles by tomorrow night. And the good news is we're not looking at severe weather. We're not looking at severe weather today, and we're not really looking at severe weather tomorrow. But because of the amount of moisture available to these thunderstorms, it will pour. And over time, flooding might be a concern. So something we'll keep an eye on. So the 90s from today will give way to the 60s and low 70s tomorrow morning as we start the weekend. Then throughout the day tomorrow, it's going to be a sultry day. And that uh, higher humidity will bring in the clouds. The cloud cover means less sunlight. So temperatures will be slightly cooler in the upper 80s and low 90s tomorrow. But again, the trade-off will be the very uncomfortable humidity in the air. And look at all of the rain out to the west of us. Probably some flooding in the Rocky Mountains. The same way to Christos back over toward Albuquerque. And then this rain's going to march right over the top of us tomorrow night into Sunday for Father's Day. And this is the best seven day forecast that I think I've shown in probably six months. Look at this a chance for thunderstorms each and every day. Sunday for Father's Day, a 40% chance for thunderstorms, 87. Scattered showers and thunderstorms on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, the first official day of summer, the longest day of the year, still a chance for storms. And for Friday, showers and thunderstorms likely in 90. So for this next week, we're not looking at tornadoes. We're not looking at large hail. But because of the amount of moisture available to these thunderstorms over time, flooding may be a concern, believe it or not, even for the Texas Panhandle and far viewing areas. So some of the best news that we've seen in quite some time. This will help make a dent in the drought big time. Have a good Friday evening and a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for logging on to MyHighPlains.com.